Hey guys, it's Jennifer here. Today was a really good day for us. We just came back home from hanging out with our family at my parents' house, and that was a really good day. A quick shower, my husband put the baby down for the nap. Now the baby is sleeping, husband's out cleaning the car for tomorrow because we are going to a friend's wedding. I'm gonna make butternut squash puree. So it's been about three weeks since we've been introducing new food groups to Peter. So the first week I think we did oatmeal, then we did barley, and then we did peas. And all three of them he did really, really well. And he's kind of at the point where he's more interested in eating the new solid food than actually eating the formula. So I am gonna try to make the butternut squash next today. So today will be my first time. Hopefully it helps you guys if you guys are wanting to make the butternut squash puree. If See you guys soon. Make sure you're being very careful when cutting the butternut squash. Um, it can be a little bit difficult. So what I ended up doing was using my hands to cut it in half at the end. Okay, you're supposed to set it to 400. And then it's gonna warm up in 10 minutes. I'm gonna rinse this a little bit before I do that. I don't know if I'm doing this right. I hope I am. Supposed to um, put an inch or two of water in a pan like this and put this bad boy upside down. And then cook it for 40 minutes at 400 degrees. doing stuff downstairs I can check the TV out and look at how Peter is doing in this room right now he's taking his sweet nap we are using this pillow to help with the flathead baby sleeping and the butternut squash is cooking I'm gonna take this opportunity to clean the house a little bit get it a little organized and then I will check back with you when I take the butternut squash out of the oven Decided to wake up early from their nap. Who was that? Well, that's it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I'll see you guys next time. Is it good?